something new. A three-stage fermentation, Samyangju. I do not have a recipe for this, so I'm making it up. I do have this tiny diagram from a primer of brewing makgeolli. Stage one, stage two, stage three. So stage one, rice, nuruk, water for 48 hours. Stage two, rice and water, another 48 hours. Stage three, just rice for 20 to 23 days. That's what I'm going to follow. Day zero, making the juke uh, sweet rice flour, 200 grams, a liter of water, under medium heat, keep on stirring, 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 until it thickens up. It'll get really thick and smooth. Then uh, takes forever to cool down, so put it in an ice bath and stir it every once in a while. Let it cool down. While you're waiting for that to cool down, get your Nuruk ready. The Nuruk, uh, I used extra Nuruk because this extra big batch I'm making, 135 grams, half a pack of yeast, uh, 200 milliliters water, and stir that. Okay, is my, um, my juke is cooled down. I'm putting the juke in the jar. It is very gooey, but it's it's not warm at all. It's room temperature now. Pour in the Nuruk. Stir it up. Mix it, mix it very well. So it's all gooey. Yes. Okay. Okay, close it up and then open a quarter turn. Okay, so day one, the next day. Stirring it, the mixture is, it's all separated now. It's not sticky. It's completely separated. It smells really strongly of Naruk. It's, it's fermenting. It's bubbling. Stir it twice a day. Okay, day two. Uh, Got to make the go-to bop. Getting into the second stage. Wash the rice. Wash, wash, wash. That takes a while. This is uh, 500 grams of rice. Got to soak it for a few hours. Then drain it. 45 minutes at least. Uh, wash the, boil the cheesecloth. We're going to steam the, the rice that we've soaked and drained. We're going to steam it now in the cheesecloth for 45 minutes, wrap it up nicely, and steam it. Here goes. I have to add water every once in a while so it doesn't um, boil out. Okay, so 45 minutes. Let's put it somewhere where we can lay it out to cool, spread it out. Okay, then put it in the fermentation jar. It wants to eat and add another 500 milliliters of water. Mix it with your hand, the hand taste. Here it is, the hand taste. All right, day three. Okay, I didn't think I'd, I'd have to stir it, but this funny dark layer on the top. I don't like it, I'm gonna stir it. Okay, we're on to day four. I have to make go to bop again. This is the third stage. Wash the rice again. Wash, wash, drain. Just like before. Steam to make go to bop again. Okay. Spread it out. Let it cool. When it's cool. Let's be fed again. Okay, now this is getting pretty full. This is about the maximum I can fit in the in the jar safely. Next day, okay, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, it smells very strongly of Naruk. 
looks like it's mixed pretty well. Day seven now. It's some kind of separation, a lot of different layers here, so I, I didn't like that. So I thought I'd mix it. And then we let it ferment for 20 days. Pretty cool fermentation process. Okay, tw day 27, bottling day. Stir it one last time. Put it in the strainer. Oh, this works great. This works great. I can just pour the whole jar in if I, if I give it enough time. And I start bottling as I go so I don't overflow. And I, I'm going to get everything out of it. I'm going to squeeze this. And to the remains there, the lease, it's just, um, yeah, it's well fermented. It's fermented for a long time. I got about three liters product at the end of it. The Wanju, oh, there it is, looking great. There's the Changju, pretty clear and yellow. And there's the Makali. I like it, very strong flavor though. I don't know, the Nuruk I used this time, I can really, really taste it, strong. So it was a little harsher than I expected. Thanks for watching.